The adventure starts. Is the old lava path. It can be like super dangerous. Oh my God, this is so steep. We arrived at the starting point. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Be safe, guys. We will be safe. <laughs> we will miss you. Bye, guys. Bye. See you. Stay safe. <laughs> All right, and so the adventure starts. The adventure of today includes mash, hiking, a volcano, barefoot, <laughs> as always. <laughs> and that is kind of the volcano that we're hiking today. So good morning everyone, Salamat Pagi. For today's adventure, we are hiking up the Mount Lokon crater. This crater is really, really special and let me tell you why. So normal craters are on top of the mountain, right? Well, this crater is on the side of the mountain and we've been spending a lot of time here in this area and we've been seeing this crater all the time and it is such a surprise that the crater is next to the mountain and not on top of the mountain so it is time for me and Mesh to check this out with our own eyes and see how it is possible that there's a crater next to the mountain and not on top of the mountain So as you guys can see, the start of the trail is actually pretty easy and it is beautiful. We are walking in this green valley with a lot of shade actually. So it's nice to start out with and it's not too hot. And here we see how nice it is walking here. So beautiful and the path is very clear. Up until now, I have to say <laughs> it is clear directions. It looks like we might not be getting lost because we don't really know where we're going. We got some instructions, but who knows? It should be all fine. But if I look at this, it should be pretty easy. Oh, this is cool. Oh my God. So this is the old lava path. Wow. So this volcano erupted and it created this whole lava path. Look here. It is so cool. So now the only thing that we have to follow is this lava path. I've actually never climbed a volcano like this before. That is wild for me to see. And also the interesting thing is you can't hike this volcano when it's raining or bad weather because <laughs> this lava path will literally turn into a river. It can be like super dangerous then. I've seen clips of it and then you don't want to be up this mountain. Wow, this is so cool to me that you literally have to walk on these rocks in the middle of the jungle, it feels like. You really have to be careful though with your steps because it can be quite slippery sometimes. There's water on certain points and it is a pretty narrow walk actually. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. It's not too hot at all, right? No, not at all. But I love this way of walking, it's really cool. Wow, the path is getting a little bit smaller now, but it's still doable, but it's the only thing is that it's pretty steep actually, and a lot of rocks. So you kind of like have to find your own way <laughs> through the jungle here. I think we see the first sign of the crater already because it looks like open field, really sunny, no shade anymore. <laughs> so we're probably entering the crater and it looks now like this. That's what I'm talking about. The open field is there. And yeah, I think we made it. It took us maybe 20 minutes of hiking. And if this is it, that would be really cool. Oh, look here, the big lava stone. Yeah. Wow, that is really cool, eh? It's funny because Vishnu didn't join us for this hike, but he's still operating the drone from a distance away. <laughs> and I've been texting with him and it literally looks like this. We're trying that he finds us. And he found us. He's now above us, but it took a while. It's so funny. And now <laughs> we are accompanied by a drone as well. So that is very good news. Wow, it's basically all rocks from here on. This is the view. Oh, we have the mountain there. Wow. This is really cool. What a view. Wow. Insane. And it's again funny and interesting that we are the only people here right now. The only people who are doing this hike. And I'm all here for it. <laughs> At this 
lava rock like it is so interesting i love things like this it's like super shiny and bright as well yeah it is really cool there are actually a lot of them but this is the most beautiful one we've seen up until now yeah. i first thought that mash farted but <laughs> <laughs> it's the sulfur <laughs> sorry girl <laughs> Yeah, guys, we're smelling the sulfur right now. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting close. It's like the smell of rotten eggs and farts of mesh. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. And this is where we have been walking all this path of the lava. Oh God, guys, I think we made it. <gasps> Oh my god, no way. This is so steep. Oh my god. Whoa, this is insane. Look how close we are to the edge, guys. We're literally on the edge of the whole crater. Oh, I don't know. I'm like lost for words right now. Me too. Whoa. I'm like even a little bit afraid of heights. If you fall in here, like it's over. I can't believe this. Wow. I can't believe it. There's so much smoke coming out right now. Literally, Mash said it best. The mountain let out a fart. You have to be happy that there's no, that you can't smell this because it is stinky, stinky like crazy. But so worth it. We're now standing in the sulfur smoke, I think you can call it. Looks like this. And it is amazing. I mean, have you guys ever seen a view like this? I'm so speechless. It is so big in here. Like, it goes on and on and on. And there's like, a little lake inside the crater <laughs> wow this is just so beautiful i'm literally speechless we are on the edge of the crater and sometimes it's cloudy sometimes it's not but it just blows my mind that this crater is on the side of a mountain and that it is so deep in here there are so many beautiful colors in this crater and i'm gonna try and do my best to show you guys how beautiful this place is because i don't want you to miss this out and i'm gonna show you right now Right, guys it is time to go because as you can see behind us there's like a huge dark cloud coming and the guys here specifically told us to not be up here when it's raining and apparently down it's raining already and that cloud is looking so big so it's gonna be a race against the clock right now i think the tricky part of like walking down is that it's all loose rocks so it's like very difficult to get a grip and i just hurt my ankle a little bit by stepping onto a big rock and it like cut into my ankle <laughs> but we will be fine it's just like if you guys come up here it's very slippery and you just have to make sure you step on the right rocks because some are just loose this is probably where the lava went as well right And we are back in the lava field, as you can see here. So it is now only walking a straight path down, but we're feeling the first raindrops right now. <laughs> so let's just hope it stays with raindrops. That would be perfect because it's not even too hot to hike down at the moment. Okay, there's like a very loud sound on the right of us. And I just stopped and I asked Matt, like, what's that sound? And she, she just goes like, it's the rain. <laughs> so there's like a huge like rain coming our way. And it's raining now actually pretty hard already. That's gonna be interesting guys because we're not on halfway of the route. So wish us good luck as always. <laughs> That's the drone safe and sound. Yeah. And let's get wet. <laughs> let's walk in the rain. Oh wow. Uh, that's a lot of rain <laughs> okay that was a huge rainfall <laughs> and it's still raining but luckily we had one waterproof backpack with us from lskd they saved me all the time and 
it was not that dangerous it's like super slippery now because we have to walk walk over huge rocks as you can see here and i think that's the only danger it's not raining that much anymore but every situation this only shows no matter how dangerous or how challenging life can be everything works out in the end whether you're stuck on a volcano in north sulawesi in the rain or you're not feeling so well things will always look up so that's what i want to give you guys today while surviving here in the woods i think we're almost there it might be 10 more minutes and luckily there's not that much rain anymore and this warrior woman did this all on barefoot. <laughs> Alright guys, remember when I asked Mash a few minutes ago, what's that sound? And she was like, oh be careful. And she's like, oh that's the rain coming in. This is the rain coming in. We are absolutely soaking wet and the path has literally, as you can see everywhere, turned into a river. <laughs> and we're still not there yet. So it's definitely a challenge. And I remember thinking to myself, how do I find myself in situations like this? But somehow I kind of love the adventure. So it's all okay. Mother Nature is treating us with a cold shower and luckily we're safe. So it's not that we're in danger or anything. We're now on the way to the restaurant where Vishnu is waiting for us high and dry. You actually see the restaurant there, I think. And then we will be dry again. But there is literally so much coming out of the sky right now here you see all the water wow feet. washing your feet we were just up there guys can you believe that and there's literally i feel like if we could sit down and have a boat we could just sail down yeah. because right there there's like water coming out of the field here <laughs> and it is just one big wetness here you want to go swim you can swim down look that's insane so right there we have Vishnu sitting and working on his laptop. Oh, I'm jealous. And so to everything comes an end and also to walking in the rain. We arrived at the restaurant, <laughs> which I'm pretty excited about. The only thing is we don't have fresh clothes with us. So we have to sit in the wet clothes for now. But here we are. How happy are you? Very. <laughs> and nothing feels better than after a rainy walk being picked up by a car. So right now we are on our way have dry clothes because we are soaking wet and have a warm shower right guys so lots of things happened actually after the last time that i saw you because as you can see right here we have a massive bag of rice and in here we have my camera because actually the big camera that I have stopped working because it got wet. So that's tragic news today. That's not good news at all. So we put it in this bag and hopefully it will work after this. We just have to pray. Everyone has to pray for my camera, unfortunately, and the batteries as well. But the good news of today is that we arrived at Batu Ding Ding. And it looks like this. It is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Wow. So it's a very rainy day today, but look at this. It's a huge rock formation right here. And it is super interesting to see because it actually goes from there and it goes up a little bit higher. So you can actually climb up these rocks as well. Not that we're gonna do it today, but it's definitely an interesting fact and I love it. Also with the rain, it makes it super moody now. It is stunning. And next to this place, there's actually a huge river which I think is gorgeous. And so the interesting thing actually about Batu Ding Ding is that it is stunning already, as you can see, but there is not much here yet, but that's gonna change over the next months or years, I'm guessing months. There's gonna come a huge restaurant here and so many people love to climb these rocks. So there's definitely more tourists coming and I love that we get to see it now, very untouched, very raw, because this place feels like true nature and the river here behind is also stunning as well. So it's definitely cool to see this place with your own eyes before the big tourism crowd comes in here and the river is right behind me look how stunning this is here it's like a super wild river and actually reminds me of laos a little bit where i lived for a while 
But have a look, this is stunning. I can't believe it. And there's literally no one here. We are in the middle of nature today. It is a huge river and so wild. But unfortunately, it is raining today, so we can't do much. So I'm gonna go back to the car right now because I don't want to have more broken camera gear. It's literally a traveler's nightmare that your camera or your drone gives up on a beautiful trip like this. And I'm just really hoping that my camera will be fine so hopefully when you guys see this vlog i can already say that my camera made it but for now let's just hope for the best all right guys i completely forgot to film an outro for this video and this was simply because i was so so stressed about my camera but i can tell you guys now that after of putting it two weeks in a bag of rice it started working again but i've never been so close to losing my camera but i wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe because there are way more manado and tomohon videos coming and as always see you in my next one Bye.